What is up you guys, it is Natum to this one here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you the most effective and one of my favorite methods for playing on the map Verrucked in Zombies Chronicles. Now this method not only will level up your normal levels, but you're also your weapon levels if you have the current gun that you'll be using unlocked. And this will get you to very, very high rounds if you play your cards right. And for this method, you want to make sure that you do spawn on this side of the map, which is the left side, the one with Juggernog, not the one with Quick Revive. This is very, very vital for this because you will need to get to the box if you want to get some averagely good weapons. Um, so I didn't use any Gobble Gums in this gameplay, but that, the most effective way to do it is to use Gobble Gums. You can use Crate Power or Wall Power, whichever you think suits you. And also make sure to use a Bullet Boost so you can your alternate ammo types such as like blast furnace which is the one I would personally aim for but then after you um, you know survive the rounds you want to go through and you want to um, go up the side make sure you turn on the power and hit the box and stuff like that but one key thing for this strategy is you do not want to open up that door that door is very very important that it stays shut so you can get your guns do whatever you need to do and then you're gonna head over on the other side of the map, go down past Quick Revive, and then right after coming up here, if you look to the right of where I'm looking now, you'll see that this is the same exact door that we did not open up on the other side. And that means the zombies will only come from this door right here. So you can just sit here with your gun and shoot all day. And personally, I like the ICR for this because even on Pack-a-Punched, it hits a single head or single shot headshot up until like round 14. If you were to get a pack of punched and you used like a bullet boost or anything like that, Blast Furnace would definitely be the alternate ammo type to aim for because it not only kills all the whole horde of zombies, but Blast Furnace is one of those uh, alternate ammo types that also lets drops drop. Um, so it's very, very good. And then another reason to get this weapon is because right around this corner where I'm looking, there's a wall buy for it. And you'll see me get that later on, but it's definitely one of the best options. Another good place to stay is right where I'm standing right now. This is probably one of the better places because you can get both windows at once. Um, you might see it later, I shoot kind of through the wall where I'm aiming right now. Um, that shoots through that wall and it hits that window. And it's really, really effective to use with death machines because it goes directly through. And you, you'll see that I rack up points later just from shooting the wall. This is probably one of my more favorite spots to camp on this map just because of the, like, easily obtainable points you can just stand here and shoot through the wall repeatedly and repeatedly and you'll get more points but here's that wall buy that i was talking about earlier on it's literally the cheapest thing if you did get a pack a punch it'd only be 4500 which is not a lot when you're sitting here like i'm on round 18 have 44,000, so it's it's not that bad but uh you'll see here that it's either in here or i may have another clip of the death machine i'm not exact, exactly sure but you'll see that i'm getting points just from shooting and that's because it's going through the wall and I'm killing the zombies behind that wall that are at the window. So like I said previously, this is way way better when you use gobble gums. And I was not using gobble gums, so I did die on like kind of a lower round. I only died on tw or I died at 24. So, I mean, that's not a high round at all. It can easily be done with this strategy. Um, but, you know, it, it's alright. I could have gotten way higher if I used some other gobble gums, but like right here I'm getting points, you know, just for shooting, basically. Um, so this is one of those places right here that you can just stand and shoot, and you don't really have to pay that much attention, but sometimes you do get in sticky situations, and when that happens you may have to run a train. Uh, I, I ended up running out of ammo in that HVK, and I didn't really want to buy it because it wasn't that good, so I went back to the box, which kind of was my downfall. I got a PPSH, but it wasn't that strong in round 24, so I ended up dying, um, which I, I killed off a good chunk of these zombies here. I almost have 100,000 points by this time, but I see that death machine, so when I get back up, you'll see that I go for the death machine, and unfortunately... Somehow there were zombies behind me, I don't know if they ran that way and then came back whenever I got back up, I don't know what happened. So it was kind of a crappy down, I got really <laughs> low-key mad because I was going to see what I could do without like a perkaholic and bullet boost and all that, but this is pretty much the best strategy I've ever experienced or seen anywhere, so let me know if you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more content every day. I will see you in the next video, have a wonderful day, and goodbye. Thank you.